Hello my dear Pisces and welcome to a new reading. Messages important for you right in this moment. Whenever you see this, it is for you. Let's see what your cards want you to know right now. What is the message for you Pisces? So I get I should take this card as your first. Let's see. Okay. We will take two more. Okay, this one. And for the moment is enough. And we will see. So your first card here is Ten of Pentacles. What a happy card. Everyone's so happy. They got what they want. They made it. Hard times behind. Everything is just good. Everything is good. You have King of Pentacles reaching this level, this lifestyle, this goal that you have, right? Requires to follow your heart, to follow what you know the best and be confident in your ability to make your plans work. You know, the page of wands here gives me the feeling that you must be more, let's say you have an idea, right? Stay committed to that idea. Don't jump from one to another because it's easy to get excited and it's hard to stick with one thing and make it work. So I get this feeling of you should be more, you know, um, committed. So finish the things that you start. Dedication and, um, you know, discipline is very important. Believe that you can do this and you will. Now, with the Eight of Swords here, Sometimes you think way too much, Pisces. Sometimes you think way too much. So what, what you want, you will achieve it. It's just you need to work a little bit with your thoughts there. Because there are moments when you feel stuck. And that is why maybe you just jump to the next thing, to the next person, to the next job. And you don't stick with one thing. So I get this feeling of stay in one place or if you have a job right now, right? And things might not be exactly as you thought they will go, but maybe it's not the right time, right? So don't just jump to the next one. Uh, give, it a, give it some time, okay? Also with the overthinking, overthinking is when we... We take a situation and we take all the bads, right? Bad sides of it. And we even put on top of that even more and more. And we start to convince ourselves of things that are not true. You see, she's not, she's not all tied up. She's not at all. But she sees herself this way. So how powerful is our mind, right? Now you have here the world card. So just hang on there because something here comes full circle. Something here will take place and you will be so happy. You'll be so happy that you did not give up on this job. You'll be so happy that you did not give up on this relationship because it's something that requires time. It's all about, you know understanding that to build a solid foundation to have this family to have this job to have it all together it is a lot of work and requires time nothing falls from the sky and nothing happens from one day to another the you know good things take time when something is happening very fast right there are big chances that will not last in time so, 
you've got here also the Queen of Cups. Now the Queen of Cups is manifesting something here. So you want this so much. You want this stability in your life. You want to feel secure. You want to have the money. You have to don't worry about anything else. You want this stability in your life. And you know, it will be given to you. It will take place in your life. But you see, you must also understand that certain maybe habits or things that you have right now in your life are just not what you need. So Eight of Cups is walking away and going towards something better. Always going towards something better. Now, what you have to walk away from, Eight of Cups is saying that there is either a person, a um, place, a situation, can be even your mindset, right? Your feelings, something that it has been worked until this point in your life, but right now cannot give you more. And there is more like you to discover. There is more that you can have. So one of the biggest things that we can learn is when to, to stop, you know, or when to leave a certain situation or when to stop certain pattern in our lives. We we tend to don't see that. And that is why we find ourselves in, in difficult situations. So what you need to see here, what doesn't work for you anymore? And find the strength to, to, to disconnect from it. This is, um, this you, you will do only if you truly want to see yourself in a better position. So, Take the message as it resonates with your life. Put it there where um, where is good for you. But uh, whatever your situation is, definitely, definitely you need to cut off something. You need to have a logical approach of how things are going in your life right now. And what is it that you need to to say no to, okay? Because in this way, you will, you know, be able to, to build this, this life. You will be able to have this fulfillment because Ten of Pentacles is a, a card of, of success, of feeling secure and ev having everything that you want, you know? Now, when this time is coming depends when you will find that strength to to walk away from anything that doesn't align with where you want to be, what you want to do with your life. And of course, the moon card is all about you must deal with your feelings. You must deal with, you must deal with, um, you know... It's not about holding on into yourself. Don't talk with nobody, not even admit it for yourself. Because if you do this, you just you just make things worse for yourself. So yes, you might be afraid. Yes, you might not know exactly um, if you stay to this workplace, how things will go. But make sure before you leave that you give your best. All right. So when you leave, you have no doubt that you did everything that you could and definitely this is not your place. If it's a relationship, do your best. If it's not working, find the strength to walk away from because when you will, you will be with your heart in peace because you did your best. It just did not work out for you. You know what I mean? In this way, you can, um, you know, find the strength or uh, in this way you will be able to move from whatever is not aligned with your um, future plans with your values and so on now we have this future higher self biases it's a beautiful oracle deck that will give us some insight about what's going to be in the future for you what your future higher self want 
you to know right in this moment. Okay, so look, this is your first message. Spread your wings. Confidence that leads to freedom and growth. Yes, exactly. The growth is here. Be confident as you end something with the world car here. There is always a new beginning. You leave this job, you'll find a new one. You are not with this person anymore. There is someone else for you. There is always a new beginning. So don't be afraid. Don't stay where you don't belong. Spread your wings and move on. Your next message is creativity. Now with creativity, have fun, express yourself in new ways. And we have this page of ones which uh, she really has some fun there, right? She's just um, being herself and not holding back. So uh, definitely you need to to be more as you as you truly are and stop trying to fit somewhere where you cannot have this freedom where you cannot where you don't feel um confident enough to to be as you truly are and you have divine timing everything has a higher purpose do you see this i feel like this is the 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 most important card for you everything has a higher purpose everything that's happening in your life is happening for a reason and you would see that very soon you will start to understand if right now some of the messages here you may feel like you uh, it's not for you just wait and also remember your thoughts become things so be careful what you are thinking of what you are overthinking here my dear pisces this is your reading thank you so much for being here with me don't forget to like to share to subscribe it's free and i would love to have you here by my side next time when i come up with a new reading of course best of luck love and light see you soon bye